Hey guys, it's Mr. B here again. Thank you for checking out my video today. Today we have a autumn theme PowerPoint game that you can use with your class. Or if you are a parent, you can use this with your child. Also, I want to say a huge big thank you to all of the subscribers and contributors. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. And if you want to help out this channel, you can like, share, and comment. Also, if you're brand new to this channel, you can subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can get the latest materials when I put them up on this channel. I hope you guys enjoy this presentation. You can grab this free PowerPoint game in the description box below this video. All right, so let's take a look at Turkey Rush. Let's hit the play button. On the first slide, we have the how to play the game on the left. And on the right side, we have how to edit the game. You can read through this later uh, once you download your own uh, PowerPoint game. On the left here is the rule. It's best used with a big screen TV. If you have a big screen TV or a projector, this would this game will be, would be perfect. Uh, you want to teach the students the directions. Go left, go right, jump, and duck. The students will pretend to run while following directions on the screen. And they must avoid oncoming objects. Um, if the students get touched by an object, they are out. They can also collect coins by pretending to touch the coins and you can give them, um, you can award coins later, give them points later for their teams. And the teams that collect the most coins wins all right so here we have the button you click on this little turkey here to take you to the scoreboard we have 16 we have team one two three four five and six you can add points uh, for each team below we have uh, the course we've got the corn run the autumn run pumpkin run and the fall run and here you can click on the numbers to add points And now you can choose a course to try. All right, we have level one here. You want to teach them the directions first. Go left, go right, and jump. And you have your go back button here uh, if they get hit by an, uh, an object. So let's click start game here. And let's pretend ready? to run through the cornfield here. Jump! Jump over the haystack. Go left! Grab that coin really quickly! And avoid the turkey. Go right! Jump! And again, try to jump over the haystack. If they get hit by the object, you just hit go back to go back. Go right! Watch out! Go left, grab that coin! Watch out for the corn! Go left! Jump again! Oops! There was a fork there. Grab that coin. You can use this game however way you want. Um, you can use this in the classroom, or if you are a parent, you can use this with your child. But you'll need a, um, a big screen or a, a projector to um, use this particular game. The idea is to get the students uh, moving and interacting with what's on the screen. And you can also 
have other students shout out the directions to help the other students as well. Oh, oops. Looks like we're almost till the end here. Jump! Alright, so we did a stage clear here. And you can click on the go back button here and give the students points. Let's say they got, uh, how many coins did they get here? So let's see, maybe they got um, five coins in total. And if they are able to clear the stage without getting hit by any objects, maybe you can give them extra coins. So maybe you can give them three extra coins for clearing the stage. And if they get hit by an object, just hit go back. So let's try another run here. Let's try the autumn run. Again, teach them the directions. Go left, go right, and jump. All right, so let's click on the start game here to see what that looks like. Are you ready? All right, they're going to pretend to uh, run through the, f uh, the forest here and avoid objects. Go right! Go left! No coins yet. Oh, there's a coin! Grab it! Again, I think this is a um, good exercise for the students. They can practice moving their body. And also, um, if they can read, they can practice reading uh, what's on the, the screen. Um, or you can um, shout out the directions to them and they can try to avoid the oncoming objects on the screen. So you can use this however way you want with your, your class or with your child. It's really up to you. If you guys have any questions or concern uh, about this particular um, interactive PowerPoint game, you can write that down in the description box below and I'll take a look at that and see uh, what I can do to help you guys out. Oops, watch out for the log! So stage two, the autumn run, is a little bit more faster. And the objects come out much faster than the, the corn run. So as you progress down the level, it gets harder and harder. Of course, uh, there's, more, there's more coins. They can get more coins in the, the harder games. And of course, they can always try the course again. If they if they get hit by an object and they start over, they can, of course, try the same course again to try to get uh, the coins. And they can also try to memorize the course as well. So their friends or teammates can try the same course and uh, memorize. Uh, oops, we have another stage clear here. And now we just hit the go back button. And... We can add more points or add points to this team. So let's see, let's see. Maybe they got uh, six, six coins here. And you can also give them extra coins for clearing the stage. So let's give extra three coins. And now let's try the pumpkin run and see what that looks like. All right, there's a new instruction here. Uh, go left, go right jump and duck so that's the new direction duck all right let's start game and see what that looks like are you ready all right they're going to pretend to run through the course go left watch out for the tractor <laughs> go left again watch out for the turkey Go right. Grab that coin. Go right. Jump. Again, if they successfully grab the coin, just uh, add the coins later onto the scoreboard. Um, duck. Watch out for the crow. Jump! 
pitchforks. As you can see, this stage is a little faster, but uh, the reward is higher. Um, the object comes out faster, but there are a lot of coins. Again, if they get hit by an object, just hit go back and just add the coins uh, to their team. And then they can try the course again, of course. Um, they can try to memorize the course. Duck! Watch out for the crow. If you guys enjoy my PowerPoint games and materials, and would like to see more uh, games like this, uh, write it down in the comment section, and maybe I'll make like a, a winter version and a spring version or a summer version of uh, these type of games. Uh, these are meant to be interactive. Um, you'll have to use this with a uh, TV or a big monitor to play this with your students. Stage clear. Let's go back and add points to our team. Alright, maybe they got three coins in that stage and they got hit by an object. So let's click on the fall run. Alright, now we have the fall run. You want to introduce the directions again. Go left, go right, jump and duck. This is a difficult stage, so they'll have a chance to collect more coins. However, they'll have to choose the directions. There'll be uh, two directions that they have to choose from. So they'll have to decide where to go, left, right, up or down by themselves. So let's hit start game. Are you ready? Choose. Go left or right? Oops, right is bad. Choose again. Go left, go right. Right is bad again. Choose. Jump or duck. Grab the coin. So in this uh, particular uh, stage or course, um, they'll have to decide whether to go left, go right, jump, or duck. And the objects will be coming at them faster. So this is a very difficult stage, um, but if, they're, if they manage to make it to the end, uh, maybe you can award them with more coins. Ooh, grab the coin. Watch out for the turkey. Go left, go right. Oops, falling logs. Alright. If you find any success using this particular uh, game in your classroom, I hope you guys can um, share your experience with other teachers or viewers on this channel. Um, maybe you have used this game for a different, uh, a, a different way. Uh, maybe you can share your ideas with other uh, teachers here or viewers and again if you have any uh, particular suggestions or games and ideas you can also write that down in the comment section below and I'll take a look at that and maybe you'll see one of your games or ideas on this channel oops watch out for the flying squirrel duck Watch out for the log! <laughs> Grab the coin! I'll also be including a separate video um, with just the, um, the stages or the course. Um, if you don't have um, PowerPoint, um, you can just run the video on YouTube and play the game um, that way as well. Stage clear. But you'll have to keep track of the um, their points maybe on a separate piece of paper all right so let's just add some points maybe they got um, uh, seven coins for that stage awesome 
All right, I hope you guys enjoy this simple interactive PowerPoint game. It's a little different from my usual game. You can uh, read through the rules again, and you can read to, on how to edit the game if you download this game for yourself. Super duper. If you guys want to help support this channel, you can click on this coffee here. And also, you can like, share, and comment. It will really help out this channel a lot. I would like to say a big, huge thank you to all of the viewers, subscribers, and contributors. Without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. And if you like my materials and would like to get more materials and games, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you get the latest materials when I put them up on this channel. Again, thank you for watching my video. Happy Thanksgiving. And I wish you the best of luck in your classes.